Hiya, how's it going? In this video, I want to show you how to make your own vegetable stock powder. I've only been doing this for a short amount of time, but it's so good that I just wanted to share how you make it. For years and years, I used stock cubes or powders like this from the supermarket, and they are good for adding flavour, but they come with loads of packaging, often include questionable ingredients such as palm oil, and they don't make use of your home produce and the amazing seasonal flavours that come with them. And to be honest, after years of using the same shop-bought vegetable stocks, I was getting a bit bored of how they tasted. So let me show you how you can make your own nutritionally dense stock that can be stored at room temperature and makes amazing use of your garden produce and leftover shop-bought vegetables. This is going to make your home-cooked meals taste incredible. Begin by collecting your vegetables. Some of ours came from the shops, but quite a lot came from the garden. You can put whichever vegetables you like in your stock, but I'd recommend using a good amount of onion and a bit of garlic in most stocks, as they're strongly flavoured and tend to complement most other savoury flavours. I avoid brassicas because I know that they can become a bit sulfuric when cooked and might overpower a stock making it less versatile. In this stock, I also added some leeks and carrots from the garden, some oyster mushrooms that we grew in our house, some parsley from the garden, and some fennel that we also grew in our house. Fennel can have quite a strong aniseed flavour, so if you're not a fan or want a stock that will go with more dishes, leave it out. I've used it here because I'm experimenting with different flavours. Vegetables in the onion family, such as onions, leeks and garlic, can be sliced and placed straight onto a dehydrator shelf, but most vegetables should be steamed for about five minutes first to improve storage. Put your vegetables in a dehydrator or low oven until they're bone dry and crispy. Mine took about 15 hours to dry at 50 degrees Celsius, but each batch will be different. If they snap easily and there's no sign of moisture, they're ready. Place your dry vegetables and herbs in a blender cup. I like to add a bit of nutritional yeast at this stage because I like the umami flavour that it adds. The one I'm using also has added vitamin B12 which is supposed to be good for people following a plant-based diet. But this is entirely optional. Your stock's going to be delicious either way. You'll probably want to add salt to your stock, and now's the time to do it. You can use however much salt you want, but I aim for 30% of the finished weight of my stock to be made up of salt. Here's how you calculate how much salt to add. Weigh your dried herbs and vegetables, including anything else you might have added, such as nutritional yeast. I want my stock to be 30% salt, so that means that the rest of my stock makes up 70%. I want to find out how much 1% weighs, so I divide the weight of the stock by 70. Now I know what 1% weighs, I can multiply this by 30 to work out how much salt to add. Add your salt and get blending. Blend your stock until it turns into a fine powder. Pour your stock into an airtight container and label it. And that's it, finished! Use your homemade stock in all your favourite saucy dinners. This stock turned out quite green because of the vegetables and herbs that I used, but the last one that I made was more orange. It's probably because I used quite a lot of carrots, as well as some sweet potato and red pepper. Anyway, enjoy!